Tommy, here we are again, and we are finally at the end of this pretty tough run. So what, how's, how's training going? I know we've had a couple of days off, but how's it been today? Um, yeah, like you said, after the long trip home, um, most of us didn't get home until very early hours or even late hours of the early morning the next day. So we decided to give the lads, we already planned to give the lads a little bit more of a rest. So break from us as well, you know, we see a lot of each other over this last sort of four or five weeks with two games a week. So um, they came back refreshed on Friday morning and, and we've trained well. So yeah, looking forward to, like you say, the end of a, a real tough run of games. Same for everybody in the league, but it just feels like the way they've been panned out, we've had two away games, which have been long ones, mm. and we've got another one to come. There was obviously going to be some tired legs out there. We saw a few, a couple of people missing on Tuesday. So is this a bit of an opportunity for some of the players who maybe haven't played as many games as they'd like this season to really, you know, put their stamp on things? Well, yeah, I mean, Tommy Willard took his opportunity, I thought, on Tuesday night excellently well. Um, Ryan Glover's moved around, Tyler Frost's moved around. They've all shown me that it doesn't matter where they play, that they can apply themselves uh, in the right manner. Um, and I think obviously, they've obviously shown me also they can be coached because to play in your own position the way the manager wants is, is one thing, but to play in the way he wants in a separate, in a different position, you know, shows that they listen. So anybody that was there on Tuesday night, I'm sure came home fairly happy in the way that we played the game. We're just disappointed that we didn't get a result. And that happens sometimes in football. It's cruel. I don't think we played anywhere near as well as that against Dagenham and Redbridge last Saturday, but we won. Um, so hopefully we get a mixture of the two this week and come away with a positive result at Solihull. And looking at uh, Solihull, the opponents this weekend, obviously they sit at the top of the league, unbeaten so far mm. this season, so the challenges don't come as hard as that, do they, really? Yeah, I mean, every team we've played in the last month or so have been either on a really good, rich vein of form or they're up there anyway. So your Barnets, um, your Chesterfield, Altrincham, uh, now Solihull, South End even, you know, if you put the 10 points back on, they're, they're, they're a good side. So we, we've come up against what I think are, they, are going to be the front runners in the division this season. Solihull are there on merit, you know, we, we're not, it's not just a, a good start now, it's a, it's a good campaign they're having here. So um, yeah, unbeaten runs are there to be broken. Everybody's had a go so far, not succeeded. We'll be having a go ourselves. So we just want to try and add to the tally of points we've got. Um, after which this Saturday it's two weeks so it'd be nice to take something from the game because it's a long time before we can uh, try and add more points after this one. We now sit practically you know a third way through the season already and I mean looking at the kind of pack we now find ourselves in in that in that mid upper mid table area you know there's it's so tight isn't it that anyone can really on a good run really go ahead and and make a bit of a claim that they could be an outside shot for the playoffs is that something you're looking at? Well, I don't ever put that sort of pressure on, on the group or ourselves, really. I mean, we were we were well aware of what was needed to happen in the summer here for us to have a better campaign than we've had in previous seasons. We started well. Um, I think we've, we've created a, a buzz and a feeling around the EBB stadium that makes people want to come to, to watch us play, which is really good. I think if you look at the interviews from the, the guys we played against, they're all very complimentary in the way that we try and play the game and, and the, we always give the opposition a run for their money. Uh, I want to turn them slim defeats into draws and I want to turn draws into, into wins. That's just the next you know stage of progression for us. I think when we win, we can, we can, we can we will win heavily now and again, but a lot of teams do that. Um, but I think Altrincham are a really good barometer. Phil's been there a while. They play a very similar way to us. Um, and he's, he's got a good group of players in there. And I think he'll, if we're within touching distance of them, which we are at the moment, um, I don't think we'd be far away from where we want to be.